my name is Prakash Rudrarajan and I work here at uh, data.com for this is Salesforce uh, company. I work as a sysadmin here. I've been here at the company for five years now. So up and going, we were able to do it from day one itself. So like we have 12 different components. Uh, so we we picked a small component which was a pretty simple installation of upgrading Apache and restarting uh, HTTPD and waiting for the application to come up. And once we could see that we could easily do it for one component, we just uh, within few months we have automated all the other components that we were supporting. Yes, so when you do a deployment, uh, in our company, uh, only TechOps has access to production and we do the deployments. But during a deployment, there are other teams like release engineering developers who participate in the uh, release. And when the release is happening, they will be there to support the release, but they wanted the visibility to find out at what stage we are on the deployment, how long, how much more time does, does it take to complete the deployment. And questions like this were, uh, were answered on the chatter group. But with Rundeck, they have visibility and then they can check how long we are into the deployment and who is doing the deployment, when it is complete, and if it fails, why it is failing. It's, it provides a quick visibility. Uh, before that, if b before that, like I said, we were talking on the chatter on, on, on IRC, or people used to come to my desk to troubleshoot why it failed and things like that. So yeah, we started with deployments. Now we have also automated patching. And once you automate a deployment of a particular application, it's easy to add to it and uh, improve on it. Uh, so patching was also a lot of time consuming. Th patching and re-imaging servers, when you have to upgrade from Red Hat 5 to 6, you have to reboot and re the server. So those time-consuming things were also automated with uh, Rundeck. So once you get used to having buttons, uh, you want to do more of them. <laughs> so. Yes, so, uh, so our team is responsible for production and deployments into production. There are other teams that support QE and PE. Uh, but for uh, for business requirements where there is sensitive data in couple of P environments, we were tasked to also support these environments. And so it because it's not production, the packages fail in these environments, and we were we were also helping teams to troubleshoot such things. So to avoid so Rundeck helped us. Uh, with to avoid such things so people we we gave them a self service to do the deployments in the p environments and in the runneck output they can see why a particular build fail and they can troubleshoot themselves and uh, fix the package and and install a new package again yes so runneck is like if you have some scripts it's very easy i mean you it you will discover a lot of things that you can do as you s start using it more so i suggest that they they can just start pick up something that they want to automate and they will learn more as they start using things with my experience, there was never anything that I could not do with Rundeck. There was always something uh, new I was discovering. Uh, so I have been using it for six months now, so where we have automated a lot of things. 
so like I said we still I want to use the resource model that's there in uh, in Rundex so that new servers when they are provisioned it's automatically uh, we can manage them through Rundex instead of manually updating the resource dot, uh, CF and uh, some of the new features that are coming up in the uh, new release uh, uh, I'm also waiting for them but I don't have any ideas. Thank you.